how to make an nft discord server hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can make your very own nft discord server so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here as you can see i'm on discord and we're gonna go ahead and create a server by clicking on the add button over here on the left side simply click on add server it's gonna ask you what type of server you're creating so create my own server either for gaming social friends athletics or whatever uh, but just simply click on create my own and then they're gonna ask you for me and my friends or for a club or community you don't have to do that you can just skip this question for now and uh, we'll just go ahead and over here upload our server name so it can be any name for you want but for me i'm just simply gonna write project nfts and then just simply upload the profile picture for your uh server and then just simply click on create and boom you are good to go so now you have created your server but we still have a lot of things to do so now we're gonna go into the server settings over here so we're gonna click over here project uh on your server over here whatever your server name is just simply click over here and just come on down over here and click on server settings it's going to take you over here where you can manage all of your settings for your server so you have roles emojis stickers moderations audit log and all widgets integration and all that stuff so we're here to create roles so we're going to go ahead and click on roles and we're going to create a role so this is the default uh you know permission so we're going to turn all of these permission off that way we can you know control all the chatter and stuff like that for now we're going to turn this all off you can go ahead and turn all of these on later when you have created your own discord server and you feel like each server should have it so now we're going to go ahead and turn off all of these and then just simply click on save changes boom there we go now we're going to go back and we're going to create some rules so the first rule that we're going to create is going to be the bot rule and for the bot i'm gonna go ahead and click on actually no we're not gonna be creating the bot we're gonna create that later first rule we're gonna be creating is gonna be verified and what this means is that whenever someone you know enters into your discord servers they're gonna be asked to verify themselves by clicking on a check button and those who do that they're gonna you know get verified and they're gonna achieve that role so for that i'm gonna keep it green all right and over here this is gonna be the default color i want to keep it green and over here you can choose the image as well so there you go after that just simply click on save changes and you're good to go so now we have verified and also we want to have those members displayed separately online so we're going to click on that click on save changes now what we're going to do is we're going to create another role and we're going to call this one the bot role over here and we're going to keep this um let's say pink yeah pink looks good we're going to keep that pink and we also want this to be displayed separately over here we're going to configure all of our bots for this role and we're going to click on save and next we want to create another one we're going to call this role the admin role admins are very very important for a nft server so make sure you add that as well and we also want them to be displayed separately we're going to choose the yellow color for them click on save changes and then we want to create another role and for this one we're going to call it team this is basically your nft team you know and for this one i'm gonna call it blue yeah i think blue looks good and uh, then we're just simply gonna separate them as well and then just simply click on save changes boom now you have your roles ready and what you can do next is you can also create another one and we're gonna call this the whitelist and uh, this is gonna be for those people that are whitelisted for your nfts so we're gonna call it whitelist over here and we're gonna give this a white color right yeah something grayish type of color and yeah we're gonna call that one and then we're gonna display them separately as well boom there we go and this is another rule that you can add this is basically a bonus but you can add that as well this is gonna be the let's call it og role so this is basically for those people that were there for the first time let's say you launched a nft collection you know a new project and the first 100 people or first 50 or even first 1000 those people are going to have this role so you can go ahead and uh, add another role and we're going to call it the og and for this one we'll just simply choose the pink color oh that's one for the bot for this one we'll go with the red color there we go the ogs are going to be the red and then we're going to display them separately as well and then we'll just simply click on save changes boom there you go now you have created your roles
and boom there you go you have your roles and now we can move on with the next part of the video and also i just want to mention that you can change these colors for these servers if you want to for these roles i just like them for because you know i thought these would be cool but you can change them to whatever you want uh but next what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and enable community uh, but before we do that, we're going to go back and over here, I'm going to tell you how you can create a text channel. So to create a text channel, it's very simple. Just come over here at the top. You will see create a channel. Now, if you're wondering why you would need this, basically you want to, you know, separate a lot of things. So you want to have like separate channels for a lot of people. You want to have a separate channel for your community, a separate channel for your team, separate channel for your OGs and stuff like that. If you want to, you can like, you can go ahead and organize it a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and click over here and we're going to call this new channel, the welcome channel over here. And then you can keep it private if you want to or make it open. It all depends on you. Then we're just simply going to click on create channel and boom there we go we have now created the channel and now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our server settings again and we're going to go ahead and go into the enable community option over here and we're going to click on get started and over here we want to have verified email is required and we also want to have like scan media content for all members so that way if anything is you know uh, 18 plus or you know not suitable for your channel then they can scan it and they will not allow it so age restricted content as well and then just simply click on next and over here you will be able to you know set up the basics so over here rules and guidelines channel so you can create one for yourself or you can create one for your general or welcome so we want to create it for the welcomes so that newcomers can know what the rules and guidelines are and then we want to create another one for the general one as well then just simply click on next and then finally you have to add the finishing touches so default notifications for two mentions only i agree and understand the terms and services check the box boxes and click on finish setup all right so once you finish that up you are good to go so over here you as you can see you have your rules and guidelines you have your community update channels and primary servers language and all of that then you have a little description for your server so over here you can do anything so you can type anything any description you want it all depends on you and once you've done that you're good to go so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on moderations and you know change all of these settings so you want to keep the moderations uh at medium you know must be registered on discord for more than longer than five minutes you know or must be a member of the server for longer than 10 minutes must be have a verified phone number on their discord account so you can choose whichever one you want it all depends on you i think this would look good and boom we can go ahead and click on save changes and we are good to go all right next thing what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back to our channel and over here we want to you know add something so we're going to go into the welcome channel over here and we're going to click on edit channel and over here we want to click on permissions and we want to click on advanced permissions and we want to keep this channel you know uh click over here view channel so that way anyone who is not even a member of this channel can actually view them and can see all of the newcomers as well so when then we're going to click on save changes and boom we are good to go then we're going to go back into our server settings and over here we want to come over here down over here to welcome screen and we're here going to add a welcome screen so click on setup welcome screen and over here select the channel that you want people to see it on so we're going to select welcome and over here you can like set an emoji of what people might do so over here what do people do in this chat so this is basically a welcome newcomers over here and boom there we go and then you can add like an emoji like a wave or something so i'm going to add like this one over here boom and click on save changes and then you can add like a brief uh you know uh introduction about this server what this server is what do people do here and stuff like that so that they can know and then just simply click on enable and boom you're good to go so if you want to preview it you can simply click on preview and then you will arrive over here and this is gonna be you know how it looks like so that's it boom you're good to go and next what we want to do is we'll go back into the server settings over here and over here we want to add like a membership screening so over here this is basically gonna you know set up a screen where people can be like hey i read your message and stuff like that so we're gonna set it up and over here in the descriptions you can as i said before write whatever you want it all depends on you and over here you have to verify your phone number so you know to change this 
uh, but you can go ahead and change it this setting into moderation settings but as i said before actually we're going to keep it over here in the medium or maybe even low as well since we're going to have a lot of members it's best to keep it low as i said before we're going to go over here set up our membership screening so over here uh, you can add whatever you want so then just simply click on enable and boom proceed anyway there you go over here you can add like your server rules so you have a bunch of these other ones as well that uh you know discord already provides so we can just go ahead and add these over here but if you wanted to add your own rule all you have to do is click on add a rule and then type whatever you want over here and simply click on save maybe something like make sure to like and subscribe the video anyway after that just simply click on save and boom you're good to go now you set it up you're good to go next what i want to do is i'm going to tell you how to you know set up your own bots so one of the best uh you know bots out there is this bot called carl bot it's one of the easiest ones to do it's a pre-made bot you don't have to do anything it's really really nice so simply come over here to carl.gg and just simply log in with your discord account and you're good to go so i'm going to go ahead and log in over here as you can see it's asking for my authorization so let me just click on authorize over here and boom there you go now all i have to do is select the survey they want to get started with click on continue and over here just give the bot the, its administration you know permissions and just simply click on authorize and wait for a couple of seconds clear the recapture and click on verify and boom there you go now they're basically asking you to add it to your server so let's just simply click on get started over here they're basically going to ask you for some word prefixes so you can just leave them as they are so what that basically means is that whenever someone you know starts a sentence with exclamation mark or question mark then they're basically going to be talking to the bot so we're going to leave that as it is click on next and then we have the welcome message we want the presets over here if you want to have a custom message you can go ahead and have a custom message but we want to have a preset and over here you can go ahead and add like a preset if you want to so over here we're just going to say like howdy user welcome to server so we're basically going to be saying it like this uh you know and we can also add another thing we can add like wave emoji and we can go ahead and copy the wave emoji over here and then we can add it over here in the next howdy over here as you can see it looks pretty nice and then uh within these brackets is going to be the user's name and over here is going to be the server name just simply click on next and then we have some reaction roles so over here you can have like reaction role templates but we don't want that we'll just simply click on next then you have moderation over here you can select the role so since this is a bot so we're going to put it in the bot category and which channels do you want it to be you know posted in so we're going to want it in general and we're going to want it in welcome or actually we want it in general as well so yeah in general then just simply click on next and then it is auto mode and over here you have to set up your auto mod so basically uh, it will keep everything good my recommendation is keeping it a medium because it is a good fit for most and will keep your server nice and state uh, you know keep it in medium and then just simply click on finish and then they want you to install the piggy bot but we can just leave it at that and just skip and go to the dashboard then you have your dashboard over here and then you can add like an auto mod over here like a auto rolls over here uh, what we can apply this to is all these different types of you know roles but we want to apply it to the og ones because that way whenever someone comes in the first 100 or 50 or 1000 people are going to come in here they're going to have this role over here the og role and once that number is completed just simply come over here and simply remove it and you're good to go so i'm going to go ahead and click on save and as you can see success the setting has been applied and boom you are good to go so now that that's done we're going to go ahead and add reaction roles so in reaction roles over here we're going to create a bunch of reaction roles we're going to click on create new and over here we're going to have like a mode over here we have like content we're going to have like select channel all right so we're going to have like a uh, welcome in the general we're going to have like a welcome reaction over here so over here we're going to write like um let's say welcome to the server please check the and over here i'm going to add like the check emoji just going to be this one over here we're just simply going to copy this one and we're going to go back over here to get verified and we're going to add that welcome to the server please check the check emoji to get verified yeah that looks good then we're going to show the embedded builder and we're going to add the emoji so over here just simply search for check 
So whenever someone checks this emoji, they're going to get verified instantly. And then over here, you can have like a message type. You can have a normal message unique or whatever. And only allow members with any of these roles to pick this option. So we can have like anyone. We don't want anyone. So we'll just go with anything. And then just simply click on create. And boom, there you go. As you can see, I have the message over here. Let me just go ahead and delete this message because I accidentally created two. So boom, there we go. Now, if I just simply click on this check, as you can see over here, I have now the administrative role over here. Oh, wait, that's the Carl bot. Sorry, uh, this is me. Over here, as you can see, I have the verified role as well. So it's pretty simple. It's really awesome. So there you go. So now you have set up your bot and you can also set up other bots as well, like a giveaway bot the exact same way. Just search for it and it'll pop up and boom, you're good to go. So these were all the basic things that you needed to know about how to set up a Discord server. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then, take care and goodbye.